And now Reformer802.com Real Talk blogger Shanta asks you to ponder this. More important than behaving is teaching our future adults how to properly misbehave. Let me further explain. We teach about a false system of opposites with a clear cause and effect. Your good behavior deeds are rewarded while you are punished for your misbehavior. However, for most of us, we've experienced a number of options that unzip in life in all sorts of directions, making the connection between reward for good behavior and punishment for bad behavior quite murky. In my personal experiences and general observations, I've learned that there's no more or less glory for your reward than your punishment. In other words, people are fickle, and the same public or group of people who will praise you for your good will join the masses to chant for your hanging for misbehavior. Also, as most of us have experienced, the definitions for so-called good or bad behavior changes like the climate. And misbehavior is only considered as such because it does not fit into the norms or rules established by society, a.k.a. all of us. In fact, good behavior or being good due to the potential reward, either a tangible or intangible gained, fear of punishment, someone is watching like the law, or perhaps is a certain type of rule to follow, is not good behavior at all. Behaving for one or more of these reasons just illustrates a larger fear. So I advocate for people to just be with no good or bad attached to it. And the reward is freedom to release any concerns with praise or criticism you'll receive from a fickle public, who, by the way, will provide their own commentary without prompting. Now, back to my initial thought. Have you properly misbehaved? If we were all given the proper context of when and how we could engage in our impish delights in our youth, perhaps it would not appear as such a grand garden of temptation in adulthood. 